Today we're going to be looking at Bobby Green's application of the shoulder roll defense from traditional boxing in mixed martial arts. This is one I've been wanting to do for a while, so no better time to do it than now. We're going to start off with Bobby Green's ability to switch stances between orthodox and southpaw moving backwards. There he's in an orthodox stance, he throws the left hook to counter the missed right hand, and then tries to come inside to land the overhand if Iaquinta was to go with the lead jab, he could slip inside and counter. With this clip you're going to see him go with a 2-5 and then shoulder roll the right hand. The right hand over the lead, jab the lead uppercut, and then shoulder rolling the counter right hand as Iaquinta is usually very right hand heavy since that's his most powerful shot. Here you're going to see Iaquinta try to walk forward into southpaw to land the overhand left a la Dustin Poirier, but Bobby Green's able to intercept it with the southpaw jab and use it to step to the outside to get the lead foot angle and pivot off. Here you're going to see the straight left from Bobby Green stepping to the outside of the lead foot of Iaquinta to pull the jab and then come over the top with the check right hook and get his back to the center of the cage. In this clip Green already has the outside foot. He throws the straight left and then shoulder rolls the right hook to the body and then the left hook over the top and comes back with another check right hook to get the outside foot and pivot off. In this clip you're going to see Fazeev slip the jab to come back with his own left hook to block the power right hand and throw a right hand of his own. However Bobby Green's able to shoulder roll both punches, come back with his own left hook and then try to follow up with a right hand. As he steps into orthodox with his back off the cage he's able to land a 1-2 and slip the counter left hook of Rafael Fazeev. Here you'll see a similar principle as he switches between southpaw to orthodox and lands a counter straight right hand as Alain Patrick tries to pressure. And going back to the discussion about the check right hook, he goes with a 1-3 in southpaw against the orthodox fighter to get the outside foot against Fazeev. Then he walks backwards, kind of squares up his stance, and when Fazeev tries to pressure, he steps backwards into orthodox and lands that straight right hand to counter the forward movement. We're going to take a step back to talk about the actual shoulder roll defense. You saw there he was in southpaw through the straight left hand and Iaquinta came back with the counter right hand. In coming back with the counter right hand you're going to shoulder roll the counter right hand and block the potential left side offense with a high guard. When you shoulder roll the right hand, it's going to deflect the power and actually square up the opponent's hips and direct them into your rear power side as they miss the shot. It's like a catch and shoot. One of the best fighters to use as a showcase for this in boxing is one of the best defensive fighters of all time in Floyd Mayweather against Shane Mosley as he's able to shoulder roll the right hand and come back with a counter right hand of his own as Shane Mosley's defensive irresponsibility with the dropped hand runs him right into the counter right hand of Mayweather off the roll. Here you'll see against Fazeev, Bobby Green has low hands and he's trying to bait a shot out of Fazeev so he can counter and he expects a shot to come so you'll see him feint the shoulder roll right there with the left hand. Here against Josh Thompson, you're going to see again, rolling the right hand, high guarding the left hook, and he's again expecting another right hand, so he shoulder rolls against Thompson, but the attack doesn't come. Here it's the right hand, left hook, and the left high kick off the right hook, but you'll see he's able to get hit with the high kick because he's not expecting a kick to come from that close read. Touching back on the Mayweather example, you'll see Josh Thompson try to go with the overhand right, which is shoulder rolled with the lead left shoulder of the orthodox Bobby Green. But Josh Thompson tries to mix it up and go with a left shot to the body, but it's blocked with the right elbow, and then Green's able to roll the cross, which comes off the body shot. Here Bobby Green's going to shoot a straight left off the southpaw stance, and Fiziev's going to slip it and try to come back with a 2-3 but Green's very wise to it and is able to catch the two on the lead shoulder and then like we talked about, high guard on the rear side to block the hook off the two. This is more just a showcase of the reaction time of Green as he briefly switches to southpaw to shoot the straight left, but Fazeev slips to the outside and tries to come back with a two. And even though it hypothetically should land, Bobby Green is able to shoulder roll that shot and deflect it. Here, a right low kick is deflected and countered with a cross from Green as Fazeev tries to come over the top with a hook, but he's able to defend that as well. Here against Barbosa, it looks like he's going to go for a right low kick in Green, but Barbosa comes back with a 2-3, but Green's able to shoulder roll the 2, and what do you think is coming next? That's right, high guarding the hook to get away from it. Green will also sometimes touch or teep kick your knee to disguise the closure of distance so he can come in with an awkward 1-2 from either a square stance or a slight orthodox or southpaw stance. Here Green steps in with the southpaw cross and then steps off to the rear side angle in a brief square of his stance to be able to avoid the shot and come back with a left hook counter. But off the counter of the right hand to the left hook of Green, Green goes back to the typical shoulder roll defense and deflects the counter of Moises. 
It's hard to read what stance Bobby Green is in because he'll square up his feet a lot in order to be able to change angles and shoulder roll or use his head movement to avoid the shots of his opponents. Here he did it against Ally Quinta where he squared up his stance but briefly switched it by stepping forward just a few inches to be able to land a straight shot on Ally Quinta which dropped him and led to a finish. Here's another touching bleed teep kick to the knee of Guida to disguise the closure of distance and then shooting the straight left hand right down the center against Clay Guida. You'll see it right there. Boom. Changing your stance mid combination like you'll see Venata go there as he throws the right hand and steps into southpaw can leave the fighter who uses a shoulder roll defense at a defensive disadvantage because you're not moving your feet so it's harder to see the stance change and you'll end up shoulder rolling right into the power side. Here's what can happen with fighters who change stance against people who use the shoulder roller Philly shell. Poirier goes with a straight left hand to a right hook to another straight left, disguises the stance change to orthodox, and lands the left hook from a now new stance which drops green. Then in the next clip you'll see Poirier close the distance by measuring with the jab and Bobby Green is up against the fence. He measures, Green shoots the straight left, Poirier switches to southpaw, lands the right hook, Green thinks he's out of danger but runs into the new power side which was formerly the lead side and gets dropped.